Hello everybody, I'm Copplestone 20 and today I've got something pretty special to show you. So this is Vampires in Vanilla Minecraft. So basically what I've built here all adds up to this. This is a vampire, he moves very fast, he is quite frightening. He deals a quarter of your life, but well not a quarter, one and a half hearts, but anyway. Um, and he, if you run far enough away from him, you will see he turns into a bat. He's now a bat. Ah, the vampire is gone. I'm safe. I guess I can just run along up to this bat and easily kill it and oh no, it's turned into a vampire again. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? No, 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 no. Wow. Okay, well, uh, one more thing as well, if I just set the time to zero, and I summon another zombie, they will burn, and they will burn no matter what. I'm not sure, water might be able to save them, but I'm not certain of that, and oh no, now he's hit me. Anyway, there we are. So now I'm going to show you how this works, so this is all in time for Val Halloween, and it's all very special. Oh, no, sorry. Objectives list. So we've got near player, which means if it's within 10 blocks of the player, very near player, which means it's within 5 blocks of the player, and age, which is just counting up for all vampires. Now, if I just can pull out some lovely stained clay in the light grey colour, you can see that this side, this part of the system, is all defining that vampires have to burn in the daytime. This side of the system is deciding the um, the way it looks and this portion of the system between here and here this is for setting all the scoreboard objectives and this last portion over here is for actually summoning and killing things. So Let's start with the scoreboard objective. So, what we're doing every single tick, because we've got this clock, we're setting the block above to air and the block below to redstone. That means uh, that this block in the middle here, uh, which is a redstone block inside, in inside, in the middle of all these command blocks, is going to be changing from redstone block to air very fast, giving all of these a redstone pulse. So, what these are are they're saying. Executed all players, set the scoreboard objective to all vampires in a radius of 5. Set their very near player score to 2. But at the same time, we're saying remove one very near player score from all vampires. So, these two activate at the same time, which means if you're near a vampire, it gets set to 2 and then it gets subtracted. So it ends up at 1 every tick, every single tick. If you're near it, it's 1. If you're not near it, then it'll keep subtracting and it just goes down and down and down. So anything in a radius of 5 will have a score of very near player of 1. And the same goes for near player. So we're saying executed all players, set their scoreboard objective um, of all vampires in a radius of 10, set their near player score to 2, and then remove one near player score. But this is a radius of 10, whereas the other one was a radius of 5 which is, yeah, it's it's necessary, okay? I'll explain in a bit. So, basically now we've got that if you're in a radius of 10 of all vampires, uh, then they'll get a score of 1 and in near player, and if you're in a radius of 5 of all vampires, that's bats and zombies, then, um, then they'll get a score of 1 in very near player. So now we'll move on to the summoning and killing. So we've got another redstone block clock. Then uh, let's start with the zombies. So we're saying at all um, vampires that are a zombie whose near player score is negative one, so they're 10 blocks away from the player, they're just going to be summoning a bat called vampire. Pretty simple. 
And then those same zombies, we're targeting the same kind of zombie with the with the same score and all that, are going to be taken to the void to kill them because I didn't want them to drop their items and it's just a little bit cleaner that way. It looks more of a transformation and less of a murder. <laughs> so basically, that is the zombie side of things. And then we've got the bat side of things. So the bat, if their very near player score is 1, then they're going to kill themselves. And if their very near player, as in you're within five blocks of them, is one, then they're summoning a zombie. And that zombie's name, whew, get ready for this one, that zombie's name is Vampire, his name is Visible, he's wearing leather boots, and which are colour zero, as in black, the leather leggings that are colour zero, a leather chest plate that is colour zero, a skull, whose skull owner is a long list of letters and numbers. Now, this is all very complex. Basically, I drew up a skull in paint.net and uploaded it to Google Images and then used Dragnons as player skull converter thingy to put it into, into Minecraft. So, that is something I cover more in my Chocolate Milk 2.0 video. I will potentially put a link in the description. If not, you will see it on my channel. So, the attributes of this zombie are that his speed is 0.45. That's about the player's sprinting speed, about. His attack damage is 5. Um, it's not in hearts or even... Uh, I think it might be in half hearts or something. Look, I don't know. Maybe he didn't score a critical hit on me that time earlier. Anyway, his knockback resistance is 1. And that is the summoning and killing of the bats. So now, if we what we've covered so far, I'll just go over again. So I pick this up and basically what we've got so far is this. Get out of here, punk. Nobody loves you. Get out of here. What we've got so far is a zombie who will turn all of a sudden into a bat and then turn all of a sudden into a zombie again. So not very effective, to be quite honest. It's pretty lame because there's no noise or, or, or picture. Or, well, not picture, but it doesn't look like he's turning into a zombie. It doesn't look realistic enough. So anyway, um, let's let's fix that with this. So basically we've got our third scoreboard objective playing in here, which is at age. Uh, and so what we're doing is we're repeatedly adding to all vampires an age score of one. So all vampires only have an age score of one for one tick, which is like the tick they were created, or the tick after they were created. So the, after transformation they will get an age score of 1 and then it will just continue adding up. So we're executing an E that's a vampire whose score of age is 1 or less technically. Uh, we're doing a, a cloud particle 1.5 blocks above their head, 0 0.5 blocks going off in every direction with a speed of 0 and we're playing it a hundred times around them. Then we've got the play sound, we're executing at everything that's a vampire whose score of age is 1 we're playing a mob.gas.screen to all players in a radius of 10 blocks. So now we've got the look, but we haven't got the Bernie in sunlight. Now, what I've got hooked up here to burn them is a daylight detector hooked up to, basically, it's a repeater clock. Go away. Uh, which is, well, sorry, not a repeater clock. <laughs> what a noob I am. It's a comparator clock that... Basically, when it gets a signal from this, time, set, day, then it'll start flashing. And um, what, it's, what it's triggering is this, which is we're changing the entity data of everything that's called vampire to be on fire for 100 seconds. That is a thing you can do. It's pretty cool, I know. And then, so why have we got this and this, which is the exact same thing? Well, we've got it because earlier on when I didn't have, basically what it's doing is it's cloning the block in that position there to that position there. So every tick, this block is getting cloned to here, to clone to here, to clone to here. Oh, whoops. And clone to here, clone to here, clone to there, clone to there. Anyway, that's what's happening. And, um, yeah, it's just a heap of coordinates, really. And that reason was, well, to be quite frank, I don't 
really no. Like, the vampires just weren't burning, and then I would update the redstone by breaking a block and placing it back, and then they would start burning. So I think it must be something to do with block updates or something like that. So I tried this little cloning machine, and it does work like a treat. A trick or treat, you might say, because it's Halloween! <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I think that is just about it for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more, then drop a like. If you are recommending me to build something cool, then drop a comment about it. And if you are looking for more of these kinds of videos, or more of any kind of video from this channel, then I will very kindly ask you to subscribe. And that is all for now. So thank you guys for watching. Happy Halloween, and I will see you all next time. Bye!